Skip that. No, I'm recording YouTube. Can we get a YouTube video? Yeah. Cause that's what like cool people do these days. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great. That should be more than enough. Now let's get started. On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button to shop and browse to place the items. You can switch back and forth between catalog mode and blueprint mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready... I played this a little bit before. Your restaurant is now officially open. Awesome! That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, paper to print, and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of
here. One subscribe equals one. I hope you feel better. Alright. Great job. It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Yeah. Now let's just focus on My getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we Ooh, all know you can be. Interesting. All right, what else? Next. Congratulations on completing your first day. However, your job isn't over just yet. There is another aspect to your end of day routine. And that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Things are found here quite often. And while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside. But then, uh -huh. you get no money for the salvage. Choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely, death, should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. Okay. If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Okay. Please make your choice now. I'm gonna proceed with salvage. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Remember, use your company as your taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. Okay. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic and decrease its value. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. <laughs> Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Begin audio prompt. All right. All right. All right, next. In three, two, one. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three. All right, we did that. Two, one. <laughs> Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. That's it. 
Alright, that wasn't so complicated. The heck? Doctors are annoying because, like, in the Alright, and then it might be strange. 